Hi and welcome in another video from painting the Witcher Old World. Today, as uh, you can see, we're painting the Witcher. As some of you requested to finally get uh, some of the Witchers done, I decided to paint it the Witcher from the Wolf School. Uh, it has an interesting uh, uh, color team, and uh, and this is the one that uh, we probably like the most in terms of uh, the fact that he's from the same uh, school as Geralt of Rivia so this one was the first choice and I hope you enjoy it uh, I primed this mini in the black uh, in the black primer the reason for that is that it has quite a lot of details and uh, we might not reach some of the recesses so that's why the black uh, would be far better the reference card I use the the main uh, card from the game but I also got some pictures from the internet as you can see on the uh, video now there are some pictures of Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher Wild, Wild Hunt, Hunt uh, game uh, just mainly to get some uh, different uh, ideas and get some uh, better call or reference as as the reference card from the game is in kind of bluish tone and it's not purely uh, indicate the color we required now for the start you have to forgive me but i start painting and then, and then i realized that my camera is off so uh, i started with the caden flesh tone and we put in a couple of thin layers uh, over his uh, head the head is the only body skin that you can see on this mini the rest is either the armor or the clothing so uh, the skin part Caden flesh tone and we're painting the head only and next we're gonna paint uh, his tunic using the mix of Rhinox hike and Macrag blue uh, we put in a kind of like a darkish brown blue uh, tone and then we're, we're painting the tunic that you can see uh, under his armor and again on his uh, sleeves In our next step I'm gonna use the Scrag Brown mixed again with the Rhinox Hide uh, and we're gonna use uh, this mixture to paint his uh, trousers, to paint his uh, gloves and we're gonna also paint the, the scabbard on his back, the one that's empty so uh, we want to kind of have a, uh, a darker uh, brown uh, tone and uh, as I said earlier on, we paint all those uh, parts. Once that's done, we're gonna move to the mixture of the Rhinox height with the Steel Legion Drop. A bit of a lighter uh, brown tone and we're gonna use this color uh, to paint his... Uh, his leather armor and we're gonna also use this for his uh, uh, collar and his socks that's coming out of his uh, boots and as well the second scabbard the one that the sword uh, the, the one that has a sword in it
his uh, leather armor buckles we're gonna paint with the pure rhinox uh, height we're gonna highlight them later on but they have a bit of a recesses in them and we we put the nice dark uh, brown tone inside and now as you can see I'm painting all the straps I uh, decide to paint them all with the pure uh, steel legion drop and there is quite a few uh, of them on the mini uh, the ones across uh, his uh, armor there is a belt uh, there is some stripes that hold his uh, other armor pieces so uh, just carefully uh, go through that I also uh, painted the the stripes on the right uh, scabbard uh, with this nice uh, bright tone Now we're gonna paint the leather stripes on the other scabbard and we're gonna use the pure rhinox hide for this purpose. Uh, as well, uh, we're gonna use uh, pure rhinox hide to, uh, to paint the handle of the sword that he is wearing on his back. Uh, the other sword healed uh, that he's uh, holding in his uh, hand we're gonna paint it with the pure steel legion drop now we're gonna mix the uh, abaddon black with the steel legion drop and this kind of uh, uh, color mix uh, we're gonna use to paint his uh, boots so we literally getting pretty much uh, 50 50 with a little bit more black I want to have the kind of like a dark, uh, dark tone uh, that we're gonna use uh, to paint his boots. The sole of his boots is painted with the pure uh, black uh, from Citadel. There are also some uh, uh, leather stripes on his boots and we use our uh, uh, lighter brown tone, the mix of the Steel Legion Drop and the Rhinox Hide to paint those as well. So this is how our Witcher looks so far. And next we're gonna put the metal parts. So we're gonna use the mixture of the uh, Dark Sea Blue, Lead Belcher, and then the Abaddon Black from Citadel. So we mix them uh, pretty uh, much in uh, 2 one one ratio. So we get in the Lead Belcher with a little bit of uh, Dark Sea Blue and, uh, and the Black uh, tone. Uh, and we're gonna paint uh, all the metal parts like the sword, the uh, uh, armlets, the uh, knee armor uh, then we're gonna uh, paint as well the the chain nail uh, armor he's wearing it and apart from that uh, the uh, all the metal parts on his uh, uh, scabbards on his uh, uh, sword hilts and as well the hook that he's uh, uh, that's attached to his uh, belt and apart from that uh, all uh, the other uh, metal parts on the boots and his other armor uh, as well just a wee hint when you're painting with the metal uh, color try to be as much precise as possible it's very hard to cover the metallic paint uh, with the other colors especially bright colors so as i said you know uh, try to be neat and precise while you're doing it uh, we also i uh, forgot to mention we're also gonna paint all the buckles uh, on his 
uh, leather arm, uh, armor and every other one is on his boots as well, there's a couple of them. Uh, on the base itself there is a piece of chain and metal sword so we're gonna at this stage we're gonna paint it with the with our metallic uh, uh, paint uh, and then we're gonna put a bit of a rust on those parts later on As you probably noticed, there is a skull and a couple of bones on the base itself, so we're gonna use the Screaming Skull from Citadel, but again, if you want to use the Ivory from Vallejo, it will also do the job, so it's really up to you which, uh, which paint you uh, want to use uh, on that, for that purpose. Now we switch to the ivory and I use this uh, color quite a lot but in this purpose I'm gonna use to paint the ice balls so make sure you hold your uh, model firmly and gently uh, paint the, the ice balls there. Don't worry if you know if you want to get successful at the first time you can always fix, fix it with our uh, skin tone that we used previously and to do it all over again. And next we're gonna switch to Bugman's Glow and we're gonna paint his uh, lips with this color. We're gonna also use that color later on for the highlight and the wee scar on his uh, head. Now the ashen grey uh, color, we're gonna paint uh, the base, we're gonna paint the stones that he's walking on, again avoid painting the recesses uh, as, as we prime our uh, mini with the black, you know there is no point of painting over this uh, with our grey, we want to remain them dark so uh, just just cover the, the, the stones all over uh, uh, with the with the grey tone. Also at this stage I will be adding a bit of uh, ivory to our grey tone just to bring it uh, up and make it a bit lighter and then in in couple layers we will be brightening up uh, those stones uh, a bit so as uh, you can see now we have the first step of our brighter gray and then we'll be adding more and more ivory and painting it over just to bring the the nice contrast uh, over those uh, uh, over that stone floor with the nice light grey tone, we're also gonna paint uh, the the beard. Uh, we go very gently. We're gonna put a bit of a wash later on on that to make it a bit darker. So at this stage, the light grey uh, will be sufficient. So at this point we should have all the base color uh, applied to our mini and our next step we're gonna uh, apply some washes uh, and later on we're gonna uh, do the highlights. So uh, first of all we're gonna put the wash on, the, on his head which is the Rakeland flesh shade and uh, we're gonna paint all over uh, his head. Make sure you're not gonna put too much on the top because uh, this we want to make it uh, brighter. Next we're gonna mix the uh, Nun Oil with the uh, Agrax Earth Shade pretty much 50-50 and then we're gonna paint all over the rest of the model and as well uh, a little bit more on his uh, beard uh, so we're gonna put a tiny bit of that mix on his face but only on the beard part and again we're gonna paint all over the model including the metal parts, armors, leather armors, uh, everything and the base as well so
own. Now we're gonna do a bit of a highlighting. So uh, before that, I started with the with uh, correcting the eyes. Our wash cover a bit too much, so I decided to put uh, uh, a bit of uh, ivory again on it. And next, we're gonna. Uh, highlight the, the head so we're gonna start with uh, our original Cadian flesh tone and we're gonna be adding a bit more uh, uh, Kisle flesh so uh, our first uh, tone would be the the Cadian flesh tone and we'll be adding in a couple of stages the Kisle flesh so towards the end we want to use the pure Kisle flesh in our final brightest tone will be the kiss the flesh with a tiny bit of the uh, of the ivory so uh, i would suggest you know spend a bit of time on it and uh, and do it nicely this is the, the the part of the mini that will stand off and will be uh, very much focusing uh, the eyes of the players uh, when you play in the the old world uh, so make sure you do it. Uh, uh, make sure you do it nicely, and put a bit of an effort on it. I, I'm pretty much happy with with the results I got. So uh, hopefully, when you will be painting, uh, you will be happy with your uh, achievement too. Next, as I mentioned, on the Pokemon's glow, and we're gonna uh, do the highlighting on his uh, lips again. And then he had a wee scar on his uh, forehead, so we're gonna use this uh, color uh, to uh, to highlight that detail. Our next step is probably the hardest part for me to paint, which is the eye pupils. So I'm using the uh, the dark grey tone uh, for this purpose. Make sure you hold your mini firmly and you uh, and you take the good brush uh, to do that. Don't worry if it won't work for the first time. You can always you can always uh, make the second attempt. You go purely gonna paint over with the ivory again and 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 do it uh, again from scratch now, as you can see i mixed the pretty nice bright uh, uh, gray and do with stripes uh, gray stripes on his beard i'm gonna blend that again with a little bit of uh, wash uh, later on but at this stage we want that uh, beard uh, and mustache stand out uh, a bit so, as I said, uh, a bit of a wash on that, so a tiny bit of the, uh, of the Agrax Earth shade just to blend it over. Our next step is the highlights on the, uh, on the metal parts, so I'm using the mix, mix the, so I'm starting over with our original mix and then I will be brightening up with the Sota Green and then the Silver as well. So as you can see, starting over from uh, highlighting the, the metal on the uh, on the sword that he's uh, keeping in his uh, hand, uh, but then we'll be adding a bit more uh, sort of green and uh, and silver, and we'll be uh, doing the further uh, brighter uh, parts. We're also applying this on the on the edge of the sword. Uh, as as well uh, as on the uh, sword hilt and and then or the 
uh, all the all the armor uh, that he's wearing but I want to keep that uh, armor uh, pretty dark at this stage so I will be only highlighting uh, mainly the edges uh, so uh, later on we'll do a little bit of a uh, dry brushing with the stone just just to make uh, a nice and not even surface uh, and I think th th this this will look best so it's not too bright we're not gonna put too much of that highlighting on it so as you can see now all the uh, all the metal parts uh, will be uh, will be highlighted highlighted with those color uh, with those color tones I have also created a bit of a darker tone and I add a bit of a black, more black to our uh, initial tone and apply this to, uh, to some parts of the sword uh, and then I also applied that uh, to the darker uh, to the darker shadow parts of his uh, armor, especially on the, on the knee armor. Next our chain uh, nail armor, so in this uh, purpose the dry brushing is perfect because we want all those recesses remain dark and we're also gonna do a bit of dry brushing on the armlets and, uh, and the knee armor, just a gentle touch. I forgot to mention earlier, earlier on but uh, my camera died when I was applying the Balthazar gold on the uh, sword hilt the, on his back. Uh, so that was the case now I do a bit of a highlighting with this color just a gentle touches here and there on the sore, sore hilt uh, just just to break this uh, color uh, and it's not gonna be so boring for the hook that he's uh, having on the on his side I also decide to put a bit of a different tone in this case uh, I put it uh, Runo Lord Brass our next step is doing the highlights on the leather stripes uh, so all the leather stripes and the mini initially I put another layer of the steel legion drop uh, just to highlight after our wash but uh, our brighter tone to bring some of the most exposed area as of those leather stripe would be the, the Zandri dust which is applied here and there uh, on uh, on all the uh, all the leather stripes uh, as well as uh, on the sword hilt uh, that he's having in his hand remember we put initially the the steel legion drop on it so again we're gonna highlight with the steel legion drop and our final touches will be with the sundry dust I have also applied very very thin coat of the Zantri dust on the skull and the bones and then I add a bit of a more ivory to, uh, to Zantri dust just to highlight those stones uh, but again you can use the screaming skull for that purpose as well. Next uh, step, we're gonna put some rust on the sword uh, on the base, so we're gonna use the riser rust and the typhus corrosion. So normally I would put a tiny bit of the typhus corrosion and while the paint is still wet, I'm adding a tiny bit of the, uh, of the riser rust, just, just a wee touch uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on your brush and wipe it off uh, excessive amount of paint and then just apply tiny bit on the on the previous type of corrosion so then we're gonna have a nice rusty look of the sword and the base now we're gonna do a bit of a highlighting on the on the brown uh, tone so we're gonna start with the steel legion drops and the rhinox height so again we start with the same kind of uh, 
uh, tone as we had uh, initially and we're gonna apply that to uh, the uh, to his let's say call it socks and his uh, collar and as well on the on the leather armor for the leather armor I want to have the leather look so I use my sponge brush so you get literally get in a bit of a sponge uh, like for uh, washing the dishes put it uh, uh, in a paint and uh, and then uh, do a bit of a uh, stippling uh, on on the area you want to paint it and as you go further on you're gonna be we're gonna be applying uh, applying our brighter uh, tone as well but at this stage i switch back to my brush and do all the other areas that we previously painting with this uh, uh, with this color tone and then we'll be adding more and more of the stilegion drop to that mix to have a brighter and brighter uh, tones and we're gonna apply those uh, colors in uh, in uh, in couple of stages uh, and our final uh, brightest tone we're gonna use the the pure steel legion drop but in some areas especially the 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 edge uh, uh, highlighting we're gonna use the a little bit of a pure zandri dust as well but that's gonna be mainly on on couple uh, on couple edges uh, as you can see later on on this uh, on this clip So now, as you can see, I switch back to my sponge brush and then I remove the excessive amount of paint on a clean piece of paper and then and then apply gently uh, uh, to, to our leather. So towards the end, you will see uh, that we have a nice kind of uh, uh, leather uh, effect uh, on our leather armor. Next we're gonna switch to our uh, second brown tone, which is the mix of the uh, Scrag Brown and the uh, uh, Rhinox Hide and we're gonna apply the highlights uh, in a couple stages and we'll be adding uh, more and more of the uh, Scrag Brown and towards the end we're gonna use the pure Scrag Brown and again we're gonna apply to those areas uh, that we painted previously uh, which uh, which was the trousers the uh, the gloves and one of the scabbards uh, on the trousers itself i apply that uh, to to those uh, stripes uh, that you, that are there on the on the trousers and then uh, using a bit more smaller lines uh, we're gonna highlight those uh, stripes uh, a bit further. We we'll also apply this uh, to the uh, what you call it to the uh, sore uh, hilt uh, that uh, that he's wearing on uh, his uh, back. And don't forget uh, about the shoes. We had a wee leather stripes on the shoes, so we're gonna highlight them with those color tones as well. As you probably seen on the YouTube or maybe some other websites that the Go On Board uh, is announcing another uh, game, the board game from the Witcher universe, which is the Witcher part of Destiny. And as you probably seen, there will be a, a couple interesting mini, including the Geralt of Rivia. So uh, I can't wait for that. And I'm telling you, it will be interesting to put those uh, two minis together, the uh, the Witcher from uh, this board game the old world and then again the witcher uh, the Geralt of Rivia uh, are they both the same from the uh, school of the wolf so I can't wait uh, to see more uh, details of that uh, new witcher game I'm a big fan of of that universe so 
uh, really looking forward and I promise you that once I get it out in my hand I will definitely will make some videos of painting those uh, minis as well uh, now we're back to our uh, we back to our uh, uh, mini at this stage as you can see we're doing the final highlights with the uh, with our brightest stone uh, on those stripes uh, those stripes will really stand off if, if we if we highlight them a bit more uh, so make sure you know you put a bit of a uh, uh, time to uh, to do that it's well worth it Next we're gonna do a bit of uh, highlighting on his tunic, so we're gonna use the mix of the Rhinoxide and the uh, Macrack Blue. Uh, initially we're gonna mix them together 50-50 and we're gonna start with a bit of a dry brushing on that tunic uh, and uh, then we will be adding a bit more blue uh, to bring that uh, tone uh, a bit brighter and towards the end we're gonna use the pure uh, blue tone and again you know some areas uh, would not be suitable to for the dry brushing so again we're gonna switch back to uh, to our uh, ordinary brush and we do a bit of a highlighting especially on his sleeves so there's a wee gap between his gloves and, uh, and the armlet uh, it might be hard to reach with with the dry brushing so again it's depend what uh, area you cover it you might uh, mix those both te techniques uh, in that case I forgot to highlight our buckles on the leather uh, armor, so again, Zandri dust, there's few of them in there, so just cover them, uh, highlight them with the, with the Zandri dust. Uh, now we're gonna mix a little bit of black and uh, uh, Macrach blue, and we're gonna do a tiny bit of a highlighting on uh, his uh, boots. What I also did is do a bit of a dry brushing with this uh, color uh, on the sword itself. I just want to have a bit uh, nicer blend of our uh, shiny metal and, uh, and a bit of a darker parts. Next again with the pure uh, lead belcher, uh, just uh, just to touch here and there on the metal parts, especially on the edges, just to, just to bring them more up uh, a bit. Now we're gonna bring up our stones on the base, so we're gonna do a bit of a dry brushing with the ashen grey mix with the ivory, in a couple of stages again from the kind of mid grey tone uh, to uh, to another layer with the with the pretty pretty uh, bright uh, uh, gray. So this is how our uh, Witcher looks so far, and we're gonna do a couple uh, finishing touches. We're gonna start from uh, adding the uh, couple leaves into the into the base. We want that a bit of a kind of like an autumn look uh, base, so I just glue them with the, uh, the wood PVA glue uh, together uh, to the base, and uh, and then add a little bit of a uh, Agrax earth shade to, to to add a bit of more depth into those uh, leaves. Our final stage we're gonna add a bit of the blood, that's the blood from the citadel and again don't forget the rule less is more so don't 
put over too much so I just add uh, a little bit to the sword and a couple of splashes on the bases and a couple of splashes on the gloves just uh, realistically you know that's that's where the blood would go uh, so don't over throw the uh, the blood stain is into the model we want to focus on the mini not uh, not on the blood uh, on it and our final bit is the the rim so i decided to put it the brown instead of the gray this time because this uh, this uh, model uh, normally goes with the brown uh, player board so in that case you don't you, you wouldn't have to stick into that plastic uh, the cover, you, you know that uh, this switcher will be brown. Now, so this is it. This is our witcher from the Wolf School uh, ready. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Sorry again for the length of it, but I literally want to show you all the process. So thanks again for watching it. If you enjoy it, please uh, give the thumb up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss any further videos. And I hope to see you all in my uh, next clip. This time I can tell you it will be another monster from The Witcher Old World. I already started work on it and hopefully uh, the one after that will be, uh, will be another another witcher so once again thanks you for watching and uh, take care and i hope to see you again on my next uh, video coming soon